Uh, well, welcome back to Fireman Engage. Last time we completely failed to use leaf. I'm so sorry. Um, but let's. I'll go back to Sonic. Goodbye. Let's hurry. Oh, shit, will... Fail. What in the oh, world? Let's pause the cutscene. One sec, one sec. Let me just replay the cutscene one sec. The deeper we venture into Illusia, the worse this blizzard gets. Is this the way to Destinia Cathedral? I don't know. In this snow, it's hard to tell where we're going. <sighs> we don't have time to get lost. Hold on. I see someone up ahead. Uh oh, it's... Oh, it's that. Hmm? Is that you? Vale! You know her? She's a friend. Vale, how did you get here? I... I don't know. You don't know how you crossed the border into another country? Well, how about you? You look worried. Is something the matter? We're trying to reach Destinia Cathedral, but we got lost in the snow. If it's the cathedral you're looking for, head that way. You know where it is? Uh-huh. You're close. See that really tall tree over there? Use that as a landmark. I appreciate your help. I owed you for patching me up the other day. That was so kind. Huh. Were you wearing that ring before? No, it's a different one. Yes. It's very important to me. I didn't notice it the other day. It's pretty. Really. Pretty. Fail? Emblem ring. Fail. <gasps> oh, I'm sorry. I better be on my way. Where are you going? It's not safe. She's gone. There's no time to search for her. Not when father's life hangs in the balance. You're right. Let's hurry. Fail. What in the world? Weird. Alright, there's a reason why we're going to the Somnium. There's a very good reason why. Because... Just load the Somnium already, come on please, quick, oh my god. Because... I'm lazy and I want to extend this series. Oh, what the? One second. And I want to make my units better. One second, one second, one second, one second. Divine One, we have been getting reports lately of a strange presence coming from this well. I have not been able to find anything unusual about it, but perhaps you should investigate. I'm lazy and I'm stupid and I want to use my brain and I want to buff my characters well fighting
favorite toy. My legends, my skills. You're just about the strongest person I know, Marth. How can I be more like you? You can accomplish great things if you let your bonds with your friends become your strength. I visited the Divine Dragon lots of times over the years. <laughs> We're practically family. A persistent presence can form bonds deeper even than blood. They are to be cherished. Now that I've turned over a new leaf, I intend to devote myself entirely to you, Makaya. No need for any of that, Yunaka. I'm glad you were the one to find me. We got an S. The guy with a suit. Hello, I. No S. Oh, we got an S. No S is actually not. Cigarette. Who's that? I'm not even sure. Okay, dead. No S. Sadaka. Let's now do some, as we say, support just don't pick card time game already. I can't install for time. As we say, support, just don't pick game. As we say, support conversations. Fine. Uh, let's do some support conversations. Look what I found! It's an Alfred! <laughs> Fancy meeting one of those in a place like this. Hey, Yunaka. You, uh, settling in okay? Absolutely. Everyone's been a tasty treat. If anything, the welcome's been almost a little too warm, you know? I'm an unknown quantity. I could be anybody. What if I was a somebody? Who would know? It's weirdly convenient no one's been checking on me to try to find out. Oh, should I be snooping more? Seems like a logical course of action, that's all I'm saying. Well, I do want to get to know you better. So, yeah, we should talk more, when we get the time. Talk? Is that your idea of gathering intel? Are you really gonna go that easy on me? Think about it, chum. I could be an enemy spy. Eh, probably not, though. I trust you. For so silly lad. Whence comes this unearned confidence? Have you never once been betrayed, swindled, double-crossed, bamboozled? <laughs> I get that question a lot. Gets that question a lot, he says. Got a bit of self-awareness on this guy. I don't get you, Alfred. But maybe I shouldn't look this gift knife in the serrated bevel. If you trust me, I appreciate it. Thanks. Anytime, Yunaka. Fram! Why are you loafing about? I told you to sort through the offerings. Oops! I completely forgot. Grant me the patience. How do you manage to bungle even the smallest task? This is exactly why I fear for your future. I meant to do it, honest! It just kind of... slipped my mind. 
You know I will not credit that excuse. Forgetting is the same as doing nothing at all. Imagine how disappointed your parents would be if they found out. <sighs> Fram, I have high expectations for you and your brother. You are my successors, after all. For my peace of mind, and to honor the mother and father who left you in my care, do better. Yes, sir. This is the last time I let you down, Vander. Promise. Very good. Good morning, Prince Diamant. I see that you're an early riser like myself. Not quite, Prince Alfred. Night Owl into Early Bird would be more accurate. You mean you've been up all night? That's right. I sat down to handle a pressing task before bed. Next thing I knew, I was watching the sunrise. What was it you were doing? I was drafting requests for funding to send to Brodia's nobles. Our military needs support. Any loans will be used as political leverage in the future. I'm worried, but out of options. Huh. I mean, I see. I can sympathize with your plight. Every crown prince has the same troubles, it seems, no matter what realm they rule. Hmm. I don't doubt it. Well then, I must carry on with my morning patrol. Would you mind if I joined you? It would be foolish of me to try to sleep now. A walk and talk with the prince of a neighboring kingdom sounds much more enjoyable. That's kind of you. It's sad that we only get the opportunity during hard times, isn't it? But a long walk might be just the thing we need to get to know each other. Let me start with a question for you. What's your favorite muscle? What? <laughs> That's your opener? Oh, whoops. I was trying so hard to keep up the act, but I guess I blew it with that question. No, you're fine. I think I'll take a page from you, actually. I could stand to be a little less formal. No fooling? Oh, that'd be swell, Prince Diamant! Are you all right there, Divine One? Boucheron? Why do you ask? Oh, I just thought you seemed a little worn out. Ouch. You noticed? I am feeling sort of sluggish. Hmm, that's not good. You're eating three meals a day, I hope. Yes. I don't think my diet is the issue. Well then, how about your sleep? About the usual. Hmm, so you're eating and sleeping fine, but you still feel groggy. It could be stress. You think so? I wouldn't be surprised. Going to war is stressful for anyone. What have you been doing as stress relief? Nothing. It hadn't even occurred to me. Why? What do you do? I have several ways to blow off steam. Like going up a mountain alone and spending some quiet time fishing. Wow. That does sound relaxing. Would you like to join me sometime? The alone part of it is optional. Really? Yes, I would love that. Please, come get me the next time you head out. She's gone. There's no time to search for her. Not when father's life hangs in the balance. You're right. Let's hurry. Fail. What in the world? Weird. Alright, there's a reason why we're going to the Somnium. There's a very good reason why. Because... Let's just load the Somnium already, come on please, quick, oh my god. Because... I'm lazy and I want to extend this series. Oh, what the? One second. And I want to make my units better. One second, where is the ancient world? Okay.
Divine One, we have been getting reports lately of a strange presence coming from this well. I have not been able to find anything unusual about it, but perhaps you should investigate. Okay, uh, yeah, this is what I was saying. Woohoo! Oh, because I'm lazy! And I'm stupid! And I wanna use my brain! I wanna buff my characters! Well fighting! You're just about the strongest person I know, Marth. How can I be more like you? You can accomplish great things if you let your bonds with your friends become your strength. I visited the Divine Dragon lots of times over the years. <laughs> We're practically family. A persistent presence can form bonds deeper even than blood. They are to be cherished. Now that I've turned over a new leaf, I intend to devote myself entirely to you, Makaya. No need for any of that, Yunaka. I'm glad you were the one to find me. We got an S. The guy with a suit. Hello, I. No S. Oh, we got an S. No S is actually not. Cigarette. Left one. I'm not even sure. Okay, dead. No S. Sadika. Let's now do some, as we say, support just don't take our damn game already. I can't install for time. As we say, support just don't take game. As we say, support conversations. Fine. Uh, let's do some support conversations. Look what I found! It's an Alfred! <laughs> Fancy meeting one of those in a place like this. Hey, Yunaka. You, uh, settling in okay? Absolutely. Everyone's been a tasty treat. If anything, the welcome's been almost a little too warm, you know? I'm an unknown quantity. 
I could be anybody. What if I was a somebody? Who would know? It's weirdly convenient no one's been checking on me to try to find out. Oh, should I be snooping more? Seems like a logical course of action, that's all I'm saying. Well, I do want to get to know you better. So, yeah, we should talk more. When we get the time. Talk? Is that your idea of gathering intel? Are you really gonna go that easy on me? Think about it, chum. I could be an enemy spy. Eh, probably not, though. I trust you. Forsooth, silly lad. Whence comes this unearned confidence? Have you never once been betrayed, swindled, double-crossed, bamboozled? <laughs> eh, I get that question a lot. Gets that question a lot, he says. Not a bit of self-awareness on this guy. I don't get you, Alfred. But maybe I shouldn't look this gift knife in the serrated bevel. If you trust me, I appreciate it. Thanks. Anytime, Yunaka. Fram! Huh? Why are you loafing about? I told you to sort through the offerings. Oops. I completely forgot. Grant me the patience. How do you manage to bungle even the smallest task? This is exactly why I fear for your future. I meant to do it, honest. It just kind of slipped my mind. You know I will not credit that excuse. Forgetting is the same as doing nothing at all. Imagine how disappointed your parents would be if they found out. <sighs> Fram, I have high expectations for you and your brother. You are my successors, after all. For my peace of mind, and to honor the mother and father who left you in my care, do better. Yes, sir. This is the last time I let you down, Vander. Promise. Very good. Good morning, Prince Diamant. I see that you're an early riser like myself. Not quite, Prince Alfred. Night Owl into Early Bird would be more accurate. You mean you've been up all night? That's right. I sat down to handle a pressing task before bed. Next thing I knew, I was watching the sunrise. What was it you were doing? I was drafting requests for funding to send to Brodia's nobles. Our military needs support. Any loans will be used as political leverage in the future. I'm worried. Impressive work out there today, Yunaka. Whoa, what? I got praise from the Divine One? Zappy! I'm thrilled, beyond thrilled. I'm serious. Skills like yours are in high demand. You must have been a mercenary or something. Right, um, mercenary, yeah. You could tell? I mean, obviously I've murked a time or two, no big deal. I thought so. With strength like yours, you must be pretty well known, too. Uh, sure, I mean, yep, people, uh, people know me. I'll bet some of our allies are well acquainted with your reputation already. I'll have to ask around. There must be stories. Dad, no, I mean, uh, could I ask you to maybe not do that? What? Why? <sighs> because I lied. Again, I've never been a mercenary. You said it and it sounded nice, so I went with it. I'm sorry. I'm confused. You asked me about my past. I panicked, and just like always, I hid behind a lie. I'm truly sorry, Divine One. I should not have deceived you. You were only trying to praise me, and I just had to go and ruin it. I'll take my leave. Yunaka. Hmm, nice. <sighs> I've said it before, but I really admire those muscles, Boucheron. <sighs> Oh, uh, I appreciate the compliment. Your triceps are especially well-developed. Mind if I feel them? Uh, anything you want, Prince Alfred. Hmm, yes. Incredible stuff. You're practically a Fearnese national treasure. The forearm is perfectly sculpted, too. Wish mine was like that. Are you finished now? Oh, guess I got carried away there. You gotta admit, though, these muscles of yours are something else. I can't help but wonder what the secret is to getting beauties like these. Nothing special, really. Oh, that's what you always say. There must be some trick to it. Unless you're telling me they're all natural. How is that possible? Hmm. <clears throat> that's a bit... Uh... A bit what? 
Is there something special about this one? No, Prince Alfred. It's just a bit ticklish. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? Louis? What are you doing there? Oh, hello, Divine One. I wasn't doing anything of note, really. Merely observing those two over there chatting with one another. Um, okay. And you're doing that... why? That is the question, is it not? There are all sorts of philosophical implications to the simple act of asking why. To which I suppose I would respond... For edification. So you watch people chat in order to learn things? Precisely. There is deep meaning in these seemingly simple encounters. Through observation, many delightful and subtle details reveal themselves. When one treats them as one would treat a gallery piece, can there possibly be any harm? There, uh... I think maybe there can. What's right or wrong goes beyond rules and laws. There's courtesy and decency. If you knew they didn't like being watched, you'd stop, right? But of course, Divine One. I would never elevate my appreciation above their own comfort. Just so we're clear. Well then, I guess I'll leave you to it. Very good, Divine One. I trust that I have eased any concerns you had. Are you ready yet, Boucheron? Hmm? Ready for what? Ready to tell me what you're mixing into your food to get those muscles. <laughs> Not this again. I've told you before that it's got nothing to do with my diet. That's what you say, yes. But today, I'm going to get the truth. But that is the truth. Muscles come naturally to me. That's the long and the short of it. Still sticking to that story, huh? Because I should tell you up front that I've been watching you, Boucheron. You have? And? And I know you don't do anything but fish or read all day after training each morning. There I am, working up a sweat, while you sit under a tree with a book or a pole. There's no way you can do that and still stay in such incredible shape. So I assume that whatever you're doing on the sly really works. All right, listen. Wait, are you using magic? Unbelievable. The lengths you'll go just for some muscles. No, it's nothing like that. In fact, it's nothing at all. I'm done arguing with you about this. People shouldn't see the prince's retainers quarreling. Good day, Etienne. Right. That's just what he'd say if he was hiding something. Oh, hello, Princess Celine. You look radiant as ever. Thank you, Chloe. We have some free time today. How do you intend to spend it? That's a good question. Why don't we take a ride on your Pegasus to a nearby tea farm? I'd be thrilled. Mind you, we don't have that much free time. I doubt it would be like it was before. If only I could return to those days of whiling away the hours with you. Princess Celine? Oh well, let's do something else. When this war ends, I'll take you wherever you like, as often as you like. We'll visit all the tea farms in the world. And we can pass the time taking in beautiful landscapes while sipping delicious tea. Now, doesn't that sound lovely? It does indeed. Wonderful idea, Chloe. I shall hold you to it when the time comes. And I will be happy to oblige. Good morning, Alfred. That's quite the smile. Having a good day, are you? You can say that again. I got up before sunrise and did tons of training. Even got an early run in. And the cherry on top? I get to see your bright and shining face. What a day to be alive! <laughs> There's no need to tease me. Who's teasing? Wouldn't you be just as happy to wake up to the sight of a friend? Well, yes. I do feel happy when I see my friends. See? <laughs> me too! But, uh, look, isn't there anything I can do for you? You've been awake a while, but it must be hard. There's bound to be a lot you're still adjusting to. Tell your friend Alfred all about it. Let me think. Mm. No, there's nothing bothering me at the moment. Good, great. But if there is something, well, I want to be the first to know. Before you left Lethos, you asked me as a friend to teach you things, to help you adjust. And knowing you wanted to be friends just tickled me. Our friendship makes me happy too, Alfred. Divine One, what are you doing? 
Oh, hello, clan. I was just tidying up a bit. Tomorrow's a busy day, so I thought I'd get it out of the way now. Well, let me take care of that. You should get some rest. That's all right. I can handle it. No, no, that won't do. I'm gonna have to insist. But... Please. You know, I waited a long time for you to wake up. And not just me. The stewards before me spent their whole lives waiting. Now, after a thousand years, I get to serve you. It's like a miracle. So, please... Let me do it. Honestly, truly, I would be honored to help. <laughs> Very well. You've convinced me. I'll leave it to you. Thank you, Divine One. <laughs> I should be thanking you for taking such great care of me. I'm very lucky to have you as a steward. You mean it? Oh, man, I'm so happy I can faint! <laughs> Please don't. Now that I'm free from tidying up, I'm going to get some rest. There are a lot of people here. Uh, yeah. That's kind of the point. This is our chance to tell everyone how great the Divine Dragon is. Yeah, but... Come on, we both worked so hard on these, we gotta let the people see them. Or, instead, we could quietly put them down over there and... Okay, showtime. I'll start us off. Listen up, everybody. My brother has a real important announcement to make. Oh. Psst. Clan, that was your cue. You're the one who said people would think we're weirdos if we didn't introduce ourselves. I'm just, uh, kinda nervous. Everyone is staring at us. This is a real mess. Fine. I'll introduce both of us, okay? Oh, uh, okay. All right, then. We are Clan Infram, the 33rd Stewards of the Divine Dragon. We will answer all your burning questions about the Divine One with these lovely handbound. Stop! Please stop! This was a bad idea! What? I can't do this. There are too many people. It's embarrassing. They're all gonna think we're weird. Who even cares about the Divine One's shoe size? We do. Oh, I feel like such a wimp. I thought I could be a steward. I'm not even cut out to be in the fan club. Sorry, Fram. Clan, wait! Ha! Ha! Ah! Divine One! You look so shiny when you sweat! Ha! Hey! Hey! Look over here! Hey! Ah! The Divine One looked right at me! Thank you, Universe, for creating someone so awesome and so very shiny! Um... Fram? Oh, sorry. Am I distracting you? Well, you're not... not distracting me. Oops. Sorry, sorry. See, I'm here in my capacity as a president of the Divine Dragon Fan Club. I have a... fan club? Yep. Our mission is to support you. That's why I'm here giving you extra motivation. Huh. Thanks for cheering me on. But... could you maybe not do it so... Close? You bet. I can stand back a little. Four, three, two, one! Who's our favorite dragon? You! You! Y O U! <sighs> that didn't help. Good morning, Alfred. Morning, Celine. Training hard again, I see. Though normally I don't find you using a shovel. That's a deep hole you've dug, too. Won't this be hazardous for the others? <laughs> oh, Celine, this isn't training. And if anything, I need to dig deeper. This. <sighs> what in the world is the purpose of this? I overheard the kitchen staff this morning complaining that there wasn't enough water. So I'm digging a well for them. Pardon? Alfred, if the water supply is low, there's a river nearby we can fetch more from. What possessed you to decide that the solution to the problem was to dig a well? Hey, you're right! That's using your noggin! I'd better find a jug and leg it to the river. Thanks for the tip, Saline. <sighs> you haven't changed one bit, it seems. Better that you should dress in pelts and furs to warn people of your barbaric mindset. 
Thanks for asking me to be your training partner today, Diamant. It means a lot. Of course. We are brothers, after all. A bit of roughhousing is expected of us. I can't offer an even match. My skills pale in comparison to yours. But I'll learn what I can. We all have our own strengths and weaknesses. Constant self-deprecation counts as the latter. It's not self-deprecation, it's the truth. How am I supposed to win against the Prince of Brodia? You are a Prince of Brodia, Alchrist. Yes, I am a Brodian Prince, but I'm not THE Brodian Prince. I'm not you, Diamant. That's an awful way to think about it. Is that how you talk when I'm not around? You can't bring that lack of confidence to the battlefield. Enemies much stronger than you will be waiting out there. Don't offer them your weakness. Yes, Diamant. I understand. We need to get you in the right mindset for battle. Let's focus on your strengths. You're a skilled archer, right? People say that, sure, but I'm actually not very good. Stop. That's your lack of confidence talking. Did you hear what I said about weakness? Do you have any weaknesses, Diamant? <laughs> good question. What do you think? I can't spot a single one. You're flawless. Well, you certainly won't find any if we don't start training. Let's build Brodia a better future. Yes, Diamant. For Brodia's future, I'll do the best I can. Sorry. Uh, that was all our supports that we had. So, um, short episode today. Thank you all for watching. What do you want to say, Leaf? Yes! Okay. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time when we actually do something. I promise we won't just talk because look at this. There's nothing to talk about. Alright, thank you all for watching. See you guys next time. Bye!